Hey there, I'm Cowboy Hat Matt. Thanks for joining me. Let's play a game. Today I'm going to be playing the Alien Cube. It's actually relatively new on Steam, just came out uh, in October, which was last month. Let's get right into it here. Do you want to start? Sure do. Chapter 1, The Event. Oh, this is a love Lovecraft quote. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. Heavens. Okay. Well, it looks like we'll be in nature, so that can't be so bad. I'm not really sure. I couldn't tell just from looking uh, at the Steam store whether or not this was meant to be a straight horror game, or if it was supposed to be something a little bit more... Um, like, maybe psychological or suspenseful. So I don't know if I'm in for a bunch of jump scares or if I'm in for just stressful moments. I also don't know how long the load screens are supposed to go on this game. So... We might legitimately be fast-forwarding through this if it doesn't load soon. Just watching that thing load at the bottom of the screen. This better be one great intro or cutscene. I suspect is what's happening. Oh, here we go. Nope, never mind. Just kidding. I should be seeing. Oh, okay. Uh uh. Nope. Not a good start. Not a good start. Oh boy. Okay. I am not chained down. What am I doing here? Yep, good questions. Left mouse button to interact with objects, space to jump, and C to crouch. Okay. I hope that means saving. Uh hi. I cannot jump up that. Oh, this is gonna be super fun. Can I? Hello? Alright, well, I definitely. Ugh. What sort of creature is this? Its appearance gives me the shivers. I'll say! I don't even know why I'm here! Oh, boy. Is that fresh? I hope that's not fresh. I don't think it actually matters if it's fresh or not. That's bad. Nope, they didn't even tell me, but shift is run. Hello. What is? The man in the picture is is me. How is that possible? What's that place? Where is my cowboy hat? What are we talking about? Can I take this picture? Uh, can I keep the picture, please? Okay, some weird ruins and light shining. Alright, let's go check out my bed. What else we got here? Anything of importance? Anything at all? Anything? Hello? How did I get here? What is this place? Why is there blood on my pillow and my blanket? Why can I not jump over the bed? I have so many questions! I can't tell what... Is that like a chip bag and a broken bottle? Nice. Great touch. Okay, well, I don't see anything else to interact. Oh, I didn't even notice all these skulls. Oh... One, two, three, four. Too many! Time to go. Yep, time to go. Uh, I wonder if... What the heck? Oh, be it ever so heinous, there's no place like home. Anybody get the reference? Gosh, what do you do internally that makes like this green light you can't just tell me that's bioluminescence down there no, i forgot this is lovecraft inspired inspired okay they got straight up okay this is great look at we've got uh what looks like uh greco architecture and greco inspired architecture and straight up machinery here steam machinery it looks like exam what are these gears for it seems there is some huge machinery behind this wall. Some killing device, no doubt. 
Ah, what are you? Oh, it's a candle. Never mind. I thought it was a glowing object to pick up. Stupid. What? Wait, wait, wait. Is there something in these? Oh, I don't know what that is. Okay, don't care. Moving on! This, this game is called The Alien Cube, so there's a couple things I can infer from that. Hold on a second. That looks like we're going forward, and I need to go back and explore. Because if games have taught me one thing, or ruined me on one thing, is that if I don't explore an entire area before I move on to the next area, I may lose important stuff. Isn't that terrible? I mean, like, I get it. Like, choices are choices in a game. They're trying to teach you that. Some game developers are. But, oh, look at there's light. Maybe I can just leave this way. Is this one of those games where I can find the exit right away? Right mouse button to exit. From here I can see outside, but the crack is too small to get through. I must find another way out. Well, there's a door, like, right over there. Alright. I don't know what the difference is. I mean, other than the fact I can't fit through, but... Uh, oh, man. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I will send help. I'll come back with help. Time to get me the hecky heck out of here. So someone just left me there thinking I wasn't going to try and escape. It doesn't work. Ah. Of course. It seems that a gear is missing. Oh. Oh. What was that sound? Oh, now I have a voice. Yeah, what was that sound? Uh, let's crouch. How about let's crouch? Do we make less noise if we crouch? Oh, man. I just am not going to like whatever I find. I hear something whispering. Shh. Gear. Oh, this is going to be a run scene, isn't it? as soon as it hears the clankety clank it's gonna come running <gasps> okay let's back up uh -oh. okay I don't think it can hear my footsteps but I'm not gonna run because that would be stupid I've seen enough horror movies to know oh okay oh this game is gonna make me so tense <laughs> I'm outside. I wonder how long that's supposed to take a normal person, because for me, that took way too much time to get out, I feel like. Alrighty. Grass beneath my feet. I've escaped the cuckoo clock of doom. Okay, so... Do I have... Oh, thank you. Space to jump. Yes. Do I have any idea what state I'm in? Assuming I'm in the... States, or do I have any idea what country I'm in? Do I have any idea if I'm on Earth anymore? This all looks earthy. Ooh, pretty. Alright. Oh, this looks familiar. Anybody remember this screenshot from the terrible loading screen? I do. See, I hear birds, so there's wildlife around, so maybe this isn't just like a simulation. I guess I'm meant to follow this path. Follow the river! It's actually very pretty. So fun fact about this game before we get into the meat and potatoes of it. Uh, according to the Steam store where I got this, it was both published and developed by the same guy, uh, Alessandro Guzzo. I'm probably butchering his name. But according to the Steam page, if you click on his name on the game, uh, on the store page for the game, uh, he his little developer page or publisher page says he's a one-man team. So this was all done by one guy, which is pretty impressive. Kudos to you, Alessandro. Oh, that looks like it may be from the picture. Oh, okay. Can't. What's going on? I can't move. What's going on? What? Whoa. Oh ah, no! 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 no. 
Cue the comet? Okay. Oh, this is gonna be so bad for my tinnitus. Oh, look! Paradise was destroyed. And now it's just... a wasteland. Oh, okay. Oh, good. The whispers are back. I'm not scared of you. Stay away from the fire. Okay, I heard laughter that time. I suppose this is, uh, natural human stupidity to walk towards the thing that crashed into the ground while you're hearing whispers in your head. Oh, okay, glowy greeny. Are you causing whispers in my head? Hello? Oh, ah! What? What are you? What? Oh, gosh! Okay, I deserve that for walking straight to it. I don't know if I deserve this, though. Was I dreaming? Oh. What time is it? It's zero o'clock, sir. Wait, hold on. Was that eight or zero? That dream! It was so realistic and disturbing. Everything I felt was so real. Um, oh, I'm so tired. I need to go in the bathroom to freshen up. Or let lie back down. Can I see- oh, crouch. There was a time, and now it's gone. What else is here? Pretty mountains... A flower... picture? Okay, everything very nondescript. Is this my room? Am I in a... hostel or something? Oh, clothes. I wonder, okay. Well, alright. Open, please. I... I keep hitting E, because I want E to be the do stuff button, but I keep forgetting it's left mouse click, and I'm pretty sure that's going to screw me at some point in this game when I really need it to not. Alright, well, i got to figure out where the bathroom is. To open and close your journal. Okay, I just wrote something in a journal. My dreams. Tonight I find myself writing on the pages of my journal once more, hoping it helps me to fall asleep and to find peace again. Nights are troubled by sudden and unexplicable, unexplainable awakenings more and more often. Immediately afterwards, bathed in sweat, I feel terribly tired and have an unpleasant feeling that I've experienced something upsetting that I don't remember. On second thoughts, though, all of this could be due to recent events. The breakup with Jenny. Oh, Jenny. The move. And finally, my uncle Edgar's disappearance. The latter event in particular must have upset me more than I'd have expected. Considering the unclear nature of the facts, what the newspapers report is very strange indeed. Only God knows what happened to him. My new home hasn't helped to improve my situation. Perhaps it's just too early. I need more time. And I'm drawing ruins with uh, all over architecture and what looks like a mouth cave or a face cave and uh, tentacles. So, and eyes. That's good. That's, that's the behavior of a sane person. Food. Yummy. Do again. What else can we eat? I'm sure I need more than that. I don't remember the first thing I ate, but there was an apple and something. Uh... Okay, I guess we're not going to get to eat anything else. Notes to myself? Milk, eggs, juice, dish, juice, dish soap, rat poison. Call Pete back. Who's Pete? I know a guy named Pete. Open. Oh, the bathroom. Okay, what's in this one? Ah, the dark ironing room. For when you want to develop pictures and iron at the same time. Is there a reason this isn't open? Bed's a brick wall behind there. No, no, light's coming in that one. Okay, well... What, how do you, what, do you, water on the face, right? Here we go. I can't stop thinking about that dream. It was as if that strange object was calling me. I was feeling a deep primordial instinct, instinct that disturbed me. Oh, there's someone at the door. Who's at the door? Oh, it's probably the postman. Why is he ringing my door? Bell. My doorbell. Oh. 
Like that. Great. Make sure that works later. Telefono. That's a telephone. I know. I'll call Pete back later. Hello, old computer. Alright, what else we got? Car keys, yep. Fireplace, nice. Nice digs, not too bad. Alright, what's at the door? Oh, nice entryway too. This is nice. Letter. Oh, oh, Edgar, my uncle's okay. Arthur, my dear nephew, if you are reading this letter, it means that I am gone. Not okay. I gave instructions to a close friend to deliver this message to you in the event that something bad should happen to me. I also told him, don't contact you or let you know who he is. In the last few years, we lost contact with one another. I know and I am sorry for that. My life changed a lot and I'm only a shadow of the man you knew when you were a child. What did I know of you when I was a child? I know that it was hard for you not knowing who your mother was, especially after your father's death. I haven't always been there for you, but I was going through a rough patch. I hope you can forgive me for that. We all do. As you know, I've never been married or had children, so I decided to leave you all my possessions. Cool, even though I don't own a lot. Oh. Your inheritance consists of my apartment and the old cabin in the mountains which used to belong to your grandparents. This is all I have left. The apartment is situated in the building at number 13 Oldwood Street in Winter Falls. It's quite old and in bad condition, but I could not afford anything better. Amongst my belongings, you will probably find some things you won't be able to make sense of. I ask you to discard everything without question. I am referring in particular to my manuscripts. They are very personal and, as you will perhaps have been told, writing was my only solace in my darkest days. I ask you, therefore, not to read them and not to delve into my research. Get rid of everything so that nothing can be found. You will find the apartment key in this envelope. Do what you desire with it, but I beg you to respect my last wish. I have always loved you, your Uncle Edgar. So, my uncle, uh, in his final letter to me, apologizes for not being there for me. Tells me about his rough patch. He also says, I'm leaving you all my worldly possessions, but it's not a lot. And the few that I do have, you can get rid of those. Essentially, burn them. What an interesting letter. All right. It's a letter from my Uncle Edgar. It seems that he left his old flat in town to me. I didn't expect that, but I'd better go there immediately. Immediately. Did I... Oh, there's the key at the bottom. Can I... Do I have? Oh, I have the key. Okay, so the key is in my inventory. Hello, puppy. All right. Well, I better go immediately. Um, but let's do other stuff real quick. Computer. That's my new new computer. It cost me a small fortune. It will allow me to work more often from home, though. Sure. The land of pain. So, fun fact. I know uh, by looking at the Steam page for this, that the guy who made this game also made a game prior to it called The Land of Pain. So, small nod and homage to his work there. His own work. Alright, I'm taking the car key too, because I will want a getaway vehicle. Fireplace. This is books. Oh, fire time! I love the warmth of fire when it's cold outside. And now that it's burning, it's time to go. I can't go without with my pajamas on. I must wear something more appropriate. I suppose. Alright, close, close, close. Let's put on something more appropriate. Change clothes. I wish I could see. It will be a long trip. I'd better take my cassette player so I can listen to some good music. Where is it? Indeed, where is the cassette player? Now I suppose it's in the room. How much time am I wasting doing this? Uh, it's probably over by the computer. No, not there. Hmm. Books. That's my collection of ancient books. I still need to arrange them on my bookshelves. 
Yes, I am also into ancient books. Clock. That clock, the clock that Jenny gave me many years ago. It doesn't work, but I'm keeping it in remembrance of her. Now I feel kind of bad, because I don't know if, if Jenny is dead. There is a tape. Or if she left him. I wonder if she left him because he only collects ancient books. That could be weird. Cassette player. Boxes. There it is. Oh, this is going to be fun. My cassette player! I'm not going anywhere without that! My Walkman! Let's go. It will be a long trip. Edgar's flat is many hours away. Thanks for the heads up. Chapter 2. The Apartment. Uncle Edgar disappeared more than a week ago. Yet I've... <laughs> Okay, more than a week. Okay. Yet I've just received a letter from him only to find out that I'm his sole heir. It's such a long time since I last saw him. I was only a child at that time. But he must have been fond enough of me to leave me his possessions as a legacy. Or he hated me. I don't know what this is going to be like. I've never seen where he moved to in the last few years. But after having driven for many hours, I have, fi I have finally reached my destination. The address given in the letter led me here, to this old building in the worst district in Winter Falls. The Okay, note to self, read faster next time. I didn't get to click. Oh, here we go. The, ap the apartment should be up there, on the top floor. Wonderful. <sighs> up, up, uh, okay. Just man manifesting graffiti. Uh, yeah, that's where trash goes. Oh, is this, is this, is a, there's no reason to go this way. Oh, well, la-dee-da, game, all right. Don't get pushy. All right. What the, whoa! Okay. Well, that was a one and done. Water. Beer, soda, limo. Got it. The demons drowned me? I died here? Holy crap! <laughs> Alone. Oh my gosh. Number 10. Oh, I'm, I forgot what number it is. I'm going to knock. Was it 13? This is not the right apartment. Thank goodness. Also, the door looks like cardboard. Which, why wouldn't it be? This is number 11. I legitimately forgot the number, so... Who leaves, like... Could we not turn that into something better? Who wants to walk by that every day? This is not the right apartment. It was 13. It was lucky 13, wasn't it, Uncle Edgar? Okay, well, hold on. Let's see if I'm right about 13. This is not the right apartment. Yep. Lucky, lucky 13. Hello, statue. Oh! Oh. Can I take the gnome? Gnome Chomsky. There you are. All right, well, let's do it, I guess. Or, why don't we cut it here, and we'll do this next time. Next time, we'll investigate Uncle Edgar's apartment and see where it takes us. Hopefully, not another fugue state uh, fever dream. But anyway, that's it for now. For n that's it for now. I will see you later.